but like Jeffrey Bezos here would not be considered elite, I don't think. He would technically be an established middle class. Isn't that crazy? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Yvette. I moved to the UK two and a half years ago and I'm documenting my experiences. Come on, baby, jump up. Okay. Um, so I was reading the news as I do. Bambi's come to join. Your attention. Camera's on. She's like, I've got to be in frame. Um, so for today's video, yeah, I was reading the news and they were talking about this BBC about the new class system. So something that I had to somewhat learn since moving to the UK is it's a very class centric system. Um, and being able to travel between those classes is also a thing. So traditionally, I will I'll outlay what the old one was and then what the proposed new one is. So I've always had trouble with the class system because I don't know where foreigners fit into the class system. And I suspect there's like some white supremacy rubbish that like will assign you certain ones. Um, but I also don't understand. And I'm going to tell you that I don't understand spits as well as the categories. And you can enlighten me. Essentially, what they are. You've got low, middle, and high, or elite. Um, upper class, that's it, sorry, not high class. <laughs> upper class. Uh, lower class or working class, mid middle class, and then upper class. Now, that varies from America, who also has somewhat of a class system. Australia just doesn't have one at all because they're all convicts, so there wasn't any. We were all, like, below working class. So it's not a thing. Um, in America, you know, working middle and upper seems to be inherently linked to money, which isn't the case here. So um, that's the biggest deviance I've seen is that um, working classes like, like this is obviously very top line, working classes like blue collar jobs, like laborers, tradies or things like that. Um, middle classes is white collar jobs. So you could be a surgeon in and you're and you're earning, you know, 500,000 pounds a year and you're middle class um, but you could be upper class if you're titled so there'll be people in the UK who own full-on estates like 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 farms and multiple properties and that asset rich but quite cash poor and don't actually have that much money so technically there would be people in the middle class who have more wealth than the upper class but that doesn't get you into the upper class. Whereas in America, it's just like completely however much money you have gets you into the upper class. Um, so yeah, so that was the old one. I personally uh, like to go by the system that like, if you're working as a doctor or you're working in a factory, we're all still working class if you get down to it. Um, there is either the elite who do not work and then the rest of us that do work. And that seems to be my version of the class system. Um, I'll start at the top and go down because I've noticed there's more they're like broken up middle and working class but elite has stayed mostly the same like I said this is from BBC so reputable news site there are now seven categories rather than three um, there was people being like upper middle and lower middle and upper all that but that wasn't real it was still just three now there's seven okay so before we dive into the categories I'm going to explain how they've calculated it I guess because they've got some more metrics as I said it's not just wealth it's it's a myriad of things so it says traditionally class has been defined as occupation wealth and education but this research argues that it's too simplistic and that suggesting class has three dimensions so in this case it's measured economic cash and capital in terms of income savings house value and then social capital which is the amount of um, status you have so the biggest difference in this study was that they added the cultural capital so um whether you which is a bit silly because like you're valuing certain hobbies over another but i didn't do the study so we'll start at the bottom and work our way up to the elite um the first one is I can never pronounce this. Precariat. Precariat. <laughs> um, it is the precariat social class. They are the most deprived class with low levels of economic, cultural, and social capital. Everyday lives of members of this class are precarious. So precariat. So what that would be is someone I'm imagining on benefits, so they don't have any like capital in terms of housing or rent. Um, probably working a lower paid job, so they don't have much money, um, and they don't have any time to do activities because they don't have much money and they've I guess socially deprived as well because they're working all the time I'd imagine that's a caricature for that one I'm imagining next one is traditional working class 
I'm imagining this is a traditional working class background. Um, this class goes, this class scores low. This class scores low on all forms of the three capitals. Although they are not the poorest group, the average age of this class is older than the others. Interesting, so the traditional working class is the oldest age category. And so they don't have much money and they don't have, so I'm guessing these would be people who were working class but never managed by a house and just stayed in that cycle. So laborers and that, but I'm surprised that's the biggest one because um, generally buying houses was easier in the past. So you'd think the young people being, everyone's making so much noise, I'm so sorry. So um, I thought it'd be like, no, I'll, I'll tell you which one I think millennials are. It's probably really age gated as well to some level. Next one, emergent service workers. This is the new class that has low socioeconomic, this new class has low economic capital but has high levels of emerging cultural capital and high social capital. This is a young group and they're often found in urban areas so these would be your students. They have no money but they're very probably well educated and they probably go to museums on the weekend and have lots of friends um, so they've got lots of social support networks as well as uh, uh, academic and unfortunately poor because they're students that's what I would guess. So emergent service workers. The next one is the technical middle class. This is a new small class with high economic capital but seems less culturally engaged. They have relatively few social contacts and are less socially engaged. So technical middle class. So that would be, you know, high economic, so you got a high paying job, big house, but like really small friend group. But you do have on this one less capital, less uh, cultural capital. Bizarre, right? I'm trying to think who that would be. I guess that might be someone, let's imagine it's like an entrepreneur who does nothing but work. I imagine that's that one because they don't have time for friends or hobbies. New affluent work, new affluent workers. This class has medium levels of economic capital and high levels of cultural and social capital. They are young and active. New affluent workers. I feel like I'm probably that one. I have, I'm fortunate to own this house. So that is some economic capital <laughs> um, and I have a lot of hobbies and friends so that seems like that and I'm young and active <laughs> clearly it seemed like massive a <sighs> in theory um, so that's a newer class as well then we have the established middle class so members of this class have high levels of all three capitals although not as high as the elite as they are gregarious and culturally engaged interesting so this one the, this is like the second highest this one I'm imagining is the CEO of like a corporate who has a healthy work-life balance. So they do have friends and hobbies, but also a lot of money. And see so how this one by name is established middle class. And I think by most societal standards, that would be the top echelon of society. But in British culture, that's at best number two, which I think is interesting. And then you move on to the elite. And it says, this is the most privileged class in Britain. They have high levels of all three capital. Their high amount of economic capital sets them apart from everyone else. So they're literally just middle class people, but uh, way more money, like the wealth gap situation, and probably titled. Um, it doesn't say that on there, but I'm going to assume that's the context of that by what they mean by social capital is they're a baron or a baroness. Um, so just by having a title, you move into the elite. What I think is interesting is when you, because that would be this, that would be social capital, <laughs> and the friends you having lots of friends with titles would move you into the elite circle. Um, what's interesting with class system in the UK is that it's similar to the caste system in in India, where once you're in your section, your class or your caste, it's really hard to break out of. In India, there is no class changes you it's really hard to permeate you just don't um you have to hope that you're reincarnated as someone in a higher class and that's how reincarnation works um you can transition in the uk uh like hypothetically if i married prince harry i would get a title probably um and therefore i would then be in the elite because i'm associated with someone who's elite but it's it's very rare to to because you just can't get into those circles or get the social currency needed. I think there's more fluidity between working and middle. A lot of it is financial on the lower half, but the, it's the social and cultural capital that money can't seem to buy 
too much. I'm sure there is on some level, but like Jeffrey Bezos here would not be considered elite, I don't think, because he doesn't have the right contacts. He's not titled. He could probably buy some, he could probably buy England and then he would have the title of king, <laughs> but currently he wouldn't fit into any box. He would technically be an established middle class. Isn't that crazy? So tell me in the comments below, what do you think of the new class system in the UK? Which one do you fall into? Like I said, I like to think I'm the new, I think I'm, I like to think I'm a new affluent worker, but I'm probably realistically not that high. <laughs> Gotta fake it till you make it, you know? Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments below what you think you are, what you think of the new one. Do you think the class system's bollocks? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe so I can see you next time. Um, thanks so much for watching.